Hey guys, Cable Guy Ken coming to you today. Gonna do a quick little impromptu type tabletop review. Uh, this is actually my couch top. It's a little bit better to film by. I got more light. Um, I entered a contest on the Gerber website, Gerber Gear on Facebook, and uh, I won the Bear Grylls Ultimate Survival Kit. So I'm gonna do a little review on it for you. Um, it says on here now that, you know, if necessary, demands Gerber reserves the right to make reasonable substitutions to the items contained in this kit so what I have may not be what you have um, some of the examples are like uh, and I may have overlooked it I'll look when I go through it again here with you on camera but uh, my survival saw was a little bit different wasn't that big of a deal and it did not contain the flat rescue whistle now it does have a whistle on the lanyard and it is fairly loud. See, it's fairly, fairly good little whistle. It's kind of small. I found that if I try to blow it, you know, the way normally you would, my lips cover the opening. But if you put it in your mouth sideways, that uh, you can get a fairly good blow on it. And uh, let's see, you, you heard it. It's decently loud. It's a good little ripstop nylon case. It's got your uh, signals for air rescue down here on the bottom. Um, if you're in distress, you, you've got an airplane flying over. It's got the different symbols you'd need. It comes with the little Gerber clutch, which most of you are familiar with these. I'll just go ahead and pull the blades out real quick just to show you what they've got. You've got a flathead and I can't get my fingernail under this one today y'all. I broke that fingernail off. I've got a flat head with a bottle cap opener, a little Phillips head, and it has written on here on each side. I know you probably can't read that, but this says nail file letting you know that this is the nail file which is a little looks like a diamond encrusted nail file and a fingernail cleaner here. And then when you flip it over on this side you've got a small little scraper and then a small little micro uh, micro screwdriver and then you've got your little two your little tiny blade here it's a fairly sharp I mean right out of the box you know good sharp little blade um, you're not gonna be hacking down any trees with it but for the things in this kit this little thing will work great and then of course you've got a little needle nose plier and it is spring loaded so it opens back up in your hand great if you're trying to you know work with fish hooks or anything like that take a fish hook out of a mouth take a splinter out uh, tick stuff like that of course it does have a little grip section here in the middle for real small items and a little wire cutter here right at the very base that would work good with the wire they include with your kit now all of this came inside of this plastic bag I just took it out to make it a little bit easier to get the stuff out for you on camera um, there was a mylar survival blanket included with the kit and then your I guess we'll call this the commando wire saw one thing I noticed about this one the last saw of this type I owned the handle was bratted on with just a straight piece of wire here they've got a, a swivel on a heavy duty keyring type deal and then they folded the wire back over on itself in one of these little crimp locks so it appears to be a little bit sturdier made than the the last one of this type that I had granted the last one I had came with a you know five dollar survival knife when I was a kid but um, I'll definitely be testing this out see it how it works and uh, you know showing you whether or not it's any good I'm sure it's it feels sturdier than the one I had and if you use it properly I'm sure it'll work on some smaller items I think that was everything no, not quite everything All right. we also have some little snare wire copper snare wire and then some wax string um, it's a pretty good bit of wax string in here that you could use for snares um, and if you run out of fishing line you could use it for that for sewing material 
um, you know, wide variety of uses out of your wax thread you have there. You got a small little waterproof pouch. What I'll probably be doing is taking this waterproof pouch and putting my cell phone in it because it'll fit in there perfect. That way I've got it in a waterproof container when I go camping. Got a good length of cotton cordage. Well, it says cotton cordage, but we'll test it to see if it's cotton. We can do that right now. It may not be. It feels like a poly nylon. Yeah, this is a nylon cordage. I know the wax string is is cotton, but that's a nylon cordage. But uh, be good enough if you wanted to make a shelter out of your tarp, out of your uh, blanket here. You've got stuff for that. You've got the pocket guide for survival. I have not opened this up yet to see what is on it. So let's see what we've got here. It's got little quick instructions on fire, the basics of what you would need. Um, shows you the basics of how to use a car battery and stuff and then it's got an explanation up here about fire, clothing, location, signaling how to signal, you know, using your hand as a uh, as a guide to signal aircraft, how to build a signal fire. Got some basic knots on here, basic traps and snares, um, sun compass and uh, wristwatch compass. How to do water collection using a solar steel and a rain, uh, dew trap, you know, basic stuff. But then again, also has a 12 inch and a 29 centimeter or 27 centimeter ruler on here. So if you're out and you needed to measure traps, that'd be pretty handy because this is a uh, waterproof paper, as far as I'm, as far as I've been told, anyway. Um, We've got a small little reflective signal mirror with instructions on the back on how to use it. I do apologize for the light, y'all, but said I can't get outside because it's uh, starting to rain a little bit today. But it shows you how to use it on the back. It's got the sight hole in it so that you can, you know, look through the sight hole and use your fingers as a guide to make sure you're hitting your your target like that. Now it's small, but I mean it's it's plenty big enough in my opinion that it should give you get a little thing on the camera there. It should give a good flash. We'll try that out the next time we have a good sunny day here. You have a small little fishing kit with some looks to be six pound monument line, a bunch of small fish hooks, just about the perfect size for you know survival fishing. Small fish or small hooks catch a lot of fish. Plenty of snap swivels and weights. And then you've got a good little sewing kit. Got a couple of buttons. Four different colors and lengths of thread. A uh, safety pin. And then there is a sewing needle stuck through the back of it. It's a little bit thin, but for clothes use, it'd probably be okay. Um, I'd probably substitute a bigger needle in this just to go along with the wax thread for doing some gear repairs and stuff. Um, you know, I've got plenty of larger sail needles and stuff laying around that I could pop in there, no worries. We have a little photon beam light. And it is plenty bright. You know, for a tiny little one LED light, it gives off a good bit of light. Of course, it's got a keychain on it so that, you know, if you needed to use this kit, you could clip this onto your uh, belt loop or such. That way it's right there at you. Plus, the key ring... If you've got it in your hand, you can loop it around your pinky finger while you're using it. And then if you need to use your hand, you don't drop it. You can flip it right back up and go right back to using it. We have the Gerber Bear Grylls Striker. Um, it's got the funky little cutouts. They're stepped. That one's just smooth. That one's a little serrated, and that one's really serrated. Now, I have not tried this that much. I just kind of struck it a little bit, but I hadn't tried to get a good spark off of it. So let's see what we can do here. It doesn't do too bad. I like using the end 
this kind of throws like a little shower of sparks but it eats up the rod but this end V here that's smooth that does a lot better for me so they could have for my taste they could have done without these and just made that V smooth because um, it's actually scraping two sides of the rod at once as opposed to you know like most ferro rods you'd use a flat like that so it does throw pretty good you know pretty good sparks off of the uh, the rod there of course they give you a, a cotton ball I would probably get one of the small I think they call them snack bags you can get a ziploc bag that's about you know that big overall this uh, you know ziploc for snacks I'd probably put some Vaseline and cotton balls in there but they do give you a cotton ball which will start your first fire and uh, I guess if you can't find any good dry kindling, they give you some of these survival matches. I will do a test burn on one of these, and we'll see, you know, how it burns. And let's go ahead and do that now. Why not? No, no better time than the present. No better time than the present. So you can see the little, the little knife is fairly sharp I mean you know it's what do you expect from Gerber I know some people have had some bad luck from time to time you know when you when you mass produce items you're gonna find one every now and then that you know might not be quite up to par but you know that's with any company so let's see they give you a little striking deal here I'm just gonna lay it across my finger That was a pretty good long burn. It wasn't as intense as I've seen some, but it was definitely a long burn. You got ten of them. I've got nine left. So, I mean, you've got a good chance of getting a good fire started, providing, you know, you can find some wood. Like I said, you're not going to use this to, to chop up wood. You could use it to make a feather, feather stick or maybe cut some shavings off but uh, you're not going to do much wood processing with it so providing you have a knife on your hip which is where it should be anyway you know you won't be too bad off and this whole little kit will fit inside of a cargo pocket um, with you know plenty of comfort room to spare we'll check this out on a later date just to you know give it a good thorough work through I'm going to put the majority of this stuff in here, but I found it was easier to get it back in the kit if I didn't put everything back in it. Because it is quite tight packed when you first get it. Um, I said, my main deal for this, of course I want it, I didn't buy it, but my main deal for this is this would be great to stick in the, the glove box of the wife's car. And then when we go out, you know, it's always there with us when we're driving around. Um, of course, I've always got a, a bag with me, but this is just something a little extra that she can take, pop in her, you know, pocket or inside of her bag. Of course, the whistle will come off. That way you could put it around your uh, lanyard, your neck, put it around a, a you know, a keychain on your, a key, a key grab rather on your jacket. And then you can, you know, keep that in close close proximity with you. Um, you know, you don't have to keep everything in this kit. If you had to grab this kit to use it, you'd probably be better off to take everything and put it where you'd need it first. You know, somewhere where you can grab it real easy. But that's it all in all. Say what you want about Bear Grylls. I per, you know, my personal opinion of them. I don't like his show. I'm not saying he's a bad person, that he doesn't know what he's doing, anything of the such. I won't speak ill of anybody that's not here to take up for their sales. But, you know, he's he's got together with Gerber to put this stuff out. And uh, hopefully I'll get one of the knives to test soon. I'd like to test that machete out, um, you know, as money and time permits. But it's not a bad little kit for something to throw in there last ditch. 
most of the items in there do seem pretty well made some of them are your you know generic items that you'd find in many many other kits like the sewing kit and the fishing kit but that's not to say that they wouldn't serve you if you needed them um, I know most of us already come well prepared most of us pack our gear accordingly and we've always got what we need on us but this is just another little you know another little piece to the puzzle something you can throw in there I said it's real small you can see it in my hand you know it's just just slightly bigger than my hand is so definitely not something that be a, a hassle to keep around and even though a lot of this is redundant the, to what I've already got in my system two is one one is none so that's it from cable guy Ken sorry I hadn't been around to do videos with uh you know looking for work and everything keeps me kind of busy things around the house keeping me tied up but we're going to get back into the swing of things here right quick with this being a new year. I would like to wish everybody a belated Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Kwanzaa, whatever you supported this past season. And uh, a Happy New Year is all to all. I hope that it's prosperous and that God richly blesses all of you. Thank you for supporting me on my little channel, for keeping me in your thoughts and prayers. And we'll be catching up with you in the next one. Cable Guy Ken here. Peace out.